Hi, everyone. Uh, myself, uh, P. Maniraj, uh, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering at M. Kumar Sami College of Engineering. So I would like to introduce myself. Uh, I am the in charge for this electrical machines laboratory. And I want to share what are all the things which is available in our electrical machines laboratory. So here, the students can learn uh, various types of machines, such as uh, DC machines, AC machines, and it includes the transformers also. If you take uh, the electrical machines one laboratory, it includes the DC machines, uh, which includes your DC generator, uh, DC motor, and the transformers. Okay. And in case of your electrical machines two laboratory, so we are discussing on various types of AC machines, like uh, the Singanus machines and then induction machines. In case of electrical machines one laboratory, uh, we are going through various uh, experiments, like uh, uh, it involves the low test on DC uh, motors, like uh, compound motor, a serious motor, and then shunt motor, and also the various low test on uh, DC generators, like uh, shunt generator, uh, DC genera serious generator, and then compound generators. So through which the students can learn uh, how to calculate the efficiency of a particular machines, and also uh, how to involve that particular machines in various applications. And uh, specifically, if we want to say, uh, we know the DC series motor sh always should run under a uh, load condition, which means we have to start the DC series motor under load condition. So they will understand what is the reason behind it, so why we need to always start the DC series motor under load condition. And coming to the electrical mi machines to laboratory, we are concentrating much on uh, AC machines, uh, that to uh, the Singanus generators, the Singanus motors, and then induction motors. If you take uh, the Singanus generator, we are having the salient pole machines and also non-salient pole machines, through which the students can do any experiments like uh, the regulation of three-phase alternator by uh, different methods like EMF method, MMF method, and ZPF method, etc the synchronous motors are operating in three different power factors. But when you are coming to this laboratory, they're specifically doing that experiment in case of V and inverted VK of uh, synchronous motors. So they will understand what is the relation between the uh, power factors and then the field current, and then what is the relation between the uh, armature current and then the uh, field current. They will specifically discuss on that and they will understand what is the lagging power factor, leading power factor, and also unity power factor. In case of induction machines, we are having a single phase induction machine and also three phase induction machine. We will share the applications of single phase induction machines where we are using and also the applications of uh, three phase induction machines where we are using. Everything students will learn by their own. Thank you.